Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at infamous times a camera caught a customer being rude and causing a massive scene with their unearned entitlement. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm out. Get out. You are not allowed here. Number 10. Service dog confrontation. It's disgusting to have an animal inside of a public restaurant. It's a common courtesy to show veterans some respect for their service, right? Clearly, no one told Sierra Miller that when she decided to confront a retired veteran for about the dumbest reason possible. As Master Sergeant Bill Austin and his family enjoyed themselves in a Delaware restaurant, Miller angrily approached them because his service dog had allegedly invaded her space. She says she got upset because the dog's backside got way too close to her. She also says she was subjected to racial slurs. She berated Austin simply for bringing the dog with him, disregarding both his personal struggles and his legal right to do so. After further insulting the animal and getting into it with another customer, Miller was removed from the premises. The family was used to curiosity about their dog, but nothing could have prepared them for the blatant disrespect of a complete stranger. I mean, we'd have we've had people ask us questions or, you know, comments about the dog because he's so big, but we've never had anybody get in our face and just scream at us. Number 9. No ID, no service. The last time we checked, wine was supposed to help you unwind. So, how can someone get so wound up all in the name of a little day drinking? Well, back in 2020, one unidentified woman found a way while checking out in a Virginia Walgreens. She was before you. Okay, she should go. I think she's being polite. Having already spotted the red flags of not wearing a mask and cutting the line, the manager held her ground after reportedly asking for the woman's ID. Rather than cooperate, however, the irate customer insisted that her American Express card was proof enough of identification because, get this, it's platinum. I have American Express, that's platinum, I bet that's it. Of course, no amount of money would have stopped the police from being called. Thankfully, they didn't need to be as the woman eventually gave in and finished paying. Okay, I'll give you my ID, it's right here. Here you go, that's all we have to do. Number 8. Card Tastrophe We've all had issues with a card when paying for things. Sometimes it's the machine's fault, sometimes it's ours, as we tapped it on the wrong part. It happens. But Bria Janae Clinton's reaction was utterly absurd. In 2021, she went to a Kai's Crab Boil in Columbus, Ohio to grab some takeout. But as Clinton paid, she pulled the card out too quickly. When manager Courtney Hickey was explaining the issue and asked her to put the card back in, Clinton slapped Hickey across the face, causing her glasses to fall off before storming out. After surveillance footage of the incident went online, Clinton was quickly identified. The Columbus cops issued the attacker a summons for assault and disorderly conduct. There's absolutely no reason or no place for that kind of violence here. Number 7. Bad Hair Day you can't blame someone else for your child's mistake. In 2021, Robbie Rocco, a barber at Bonehead's Barbershop in Norton, Massachusetts, had a teen come in for a haircut. However, he asked for a number two razor on top, which would be very short. After Rocco double-checked, the barber gave him what he asked for. I'm like, are you sure? It's real short. Yep, yep, just do it. I said, okay. Grab the number two, bang. After, the teen left, even tipping Rocco. But not everyone was chuffed with the barber's work. Apparently, the teen's mother was furious at how short it was. She arrived at the shop, telling Rocco she was going to sue him. You want Look to laugh? At me, wasting my day. Look at this whack job. She followed that by calling the police. She was reporting Rocco for giving her son a haircut. According to Rocco, the police were annoyed at having their time wasted. But I just want to thank everyone for the love and support. I really appreciate it. Number 6. No Reasoning In 2021, a creepy customer spewed his vile thoughts to other patrons at the Massapequa Diner in Long Island, New York. Reportedly, he attempted to hit on underage girls, uttered homophobic slurs, and used derogatory language towards staff and customers. And in the chaos, a hero emerged in the form of employee Sandra Albert. She laid into the creeper as he weakly defended his actions. He deserved to be locked up in Bellevue. Albert later states she tried reasoning with him, but there's no reasoning with someone like that. It came from my anger for 
five weeks of seeing his face. I just couldn't stand it anymore. She told the man to get out and that none of the staff wanted to serve him. He eventually left the restaurant once the police were called and on their way. I wouldn't say I'm a hero. I would say I'm a mother. Number five, frozen drink meltdown. When you purchase a drink from a restaurant, sometimes mistakes are made and you might be handed something you didn't order. It happens. No biggie. Yet the worst thing you can do is what Alan de Guillaume did. In 2018, security footage at a Tim Hortons in New Westminster, Canada showed him exploding in a toddler-esque rage over his iced coffee. After arguing with staff, he grabbed the drink, pouring it over the counter and equipment before chucking the container away. Then de Guillaume vanished from the footage, only to return moments later to knock over the till. De Guillaume reportedly attacked a customer who tried to intervene. He was arrested on several charges and publicly admitted his shame over his behavior. Number 4. Harassing the Vendor Andres Aguayas Alvarez's hot dog cart was a popular eatery near the San Diego State University every weekend. Yet in 2023, the street vendor became the victim of a group of entitled women. Footage shot from another customer showed the group berating Alvarez over his prices. At one point, one of the fiends grabbed items from the cart and threw them, ruining his ingredients. In one gross incident, one licked an item before putting it back on the grill. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, people were outraged. California State University San Marcos, which some of the women went to, stated their disgust at their actions. Fellow vendors in the local community rallied behind Alvarez by hosting a vendor buyout in his honor. Definitely a team effort, you know, and this is just to show that those four girls do not represent San Diego, you know. Number three, throwing out the trash. In 2020, Raymond Oroso was at Lucia Restaurant and Bar in Carmel, California to celebrate his wife's birthday with his family. But the celebrations took a sour turn with the racist ranting of another patron who took exception to the Asian American family. He used insulting language and gestures against them. Oh my God. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm out. Get out. Even using Donald Trump as a threat against them. Well, not on Jenica Cochran's shift. She verbally laid into the man, disarming him with her anger, and ordered him to leave. They are valued guests. Oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're they're valued guests. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, f*** you, you're a racist. When the footage gained a lot of attention, the racist man was identified as Michael Lofthouse, the CEO of tech company Solid 8. After apologizing for his behavior, shortly after, he was forced to resign from his position. In the statement, he said, quote, my comments toward the families involved were racist, hurtful, and deeply inappropriate. He says he is taking steps toward sobriety and has enrolled in an anti-racist program. Number two, taxi tirade. In 2021, Uber had a policy of passengers wearing a face mask when using the service. Well, one group didn't follow this when they ordered a ride from Subacar Kodka in San Francisco, California. After an argument with one of the women not wearing a mask and having to buy one, Kodka decided to cancel the trip, and the group took it super poorly. Kodka was coughed on, had his phone nearly stolen, threatened with an illness, and had his mask ripped off. Two of the assailants, Arna Kamai and Malaysia King, were arrested and charged for their attack. Kamai pleaded not guilty. In 2022, she was arrested again, this time for allegedly committing identity theft in a separate circumstance. Yikes. This is real. Like, this person is really using my identity, and now I know who it is. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hot Soup Lob In 2021, Janelle Broland was having a rough shift as a manager at the Sol de Jalisco restaurant in Temple, Texas. After all, she had to field a complaint call from Amanda Martinez, who had a takeout of soup and claimed it was so hot the plastic lid melted. But it got worse when Martinez came back to the restaurant. The two argued, resulting in the customer throwing the spicy soup in Brolin's face before she ran away. Unfortunately for her, Martinez was arrested for assault. In 2023, the soup thrower pleaded no contest to the charges. As such, 
Martinez was fined $800 plus court costs and sentenced to 15 months deferred adjudication and a six-day jail work release. What's the worst behavior you've seen from a customer in the wild? Let us know your tale below. I did not expect her to throw coffee at me. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.